Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to the channel where we're all about hiking, backpacking and gear. If that's something you're into, please would you consider subscribing. So today we're going to be talking about my new gear for 2022. Now I know it is the middle of the year already, but these are some big changes to my backpack this year. I'm going to start off today with something I don't already have. And that's this shoulder foam pouch uh, made out of Dyneema from Hilltop Packs. Now this thing is like a normal sort of uh, roll top, but it's a little bit different as it's got Velcro on the back and the front. And it's just, you know, it just rolls down and the Velcro catches itself. It holds just like that. It's got two different types of mechanisms to, you know, attach to your shoulder strap, which is good. And it's also got these mesh uh, little front with a little bit of drawstring to hold, you know, chapstick, headphones, whatever you want to fit in there. Now, the reason why I've gone to this is because I wear running shorts and they don't have pockets. Now, I have hip belt pouches, but I don't like to use them for my phone because I've got snacks in there or little bits and bobs, uh, you know, camera gear, whatever it may be. And I don't want to have to look down to unzip it uh, just to get my phone out for photos or a quick video or something like that. So the reason I've gone to this is if it's not raining, I can have it in the shoulder uh, on the shoulder pouch like that. I can just take my phone in and out and it makes life so much easier. So definitely looking forward to using this this year. Uh, next on the list is poop trowels. Now I got this Cedar Summit poop trowel and I I don't like it. It's it's junk. It's flimsy in the sense of the attachment. It's pretty sturdy, but like the, the shovel part is sturdy. It's not sharp, it doesn't work well, and it's it's not very good. The only upside to this is there's a little secret compartment that holds exactly nine squares of toilet paper. Now, this just isn't for me. I don't think, you know, it's made very well. It's pretty heavy, um, but it just, it doesn't do what you want it to do. So what I opted out to was the deuce of spades now everybody's probably heard of this by now and this thing is amazing it is so light and it seems very flimsy like i'm scared to use this um one thing i have noticed is a lot of people used to say this is very sharp the handle um but now it's really smooth and it's kind of bumpy so i think they've changed it but this is the number two so i'm not sure if there's a difference from the first one but i'm pretty excited to finally say i have one of these now, next on the list is Diddy Bags. So, this is from Orb Ultralight. Also, everything in this video you're going to see today, I'm going to put links in the description box down below. Now, this is from Orb Ultralight. It's just a zip, um, a zip Diddy Bag. Just nothing too fancy. Um, this is what I used to keep all my Diddies in. And what I do is I you know, have it zipped up and I have it on the outside of my, my bag. And it just sit in the mesh pocket with the zip facing in, just in case water would ever get in. But it used to make me very nervous, just in case, you know, water was going to get in, like what would happen. So what I opted out to is this from Orb Ultra Light, is their new extra small Dyneema roll top. Now it's just got um, the little button clip, and it just, just rolls however far down you need it to go. Now... Pete over at Orb Ultralight is just amazing. Um, I love his work. He's a really great guy to uh, talk to. And I highly, highly recommend his stuff, especially if you're in Australia. Alright, so next on the list is uh, pillows. So this is my first pillow that I had. Well, technically second pillow. The first pillow lasted two trips and popped. But it got me through. This is the first like proper pillow that wasn't a cheapo that I got. And this is the Climate X Recon. Now, this thing is actually a pretty decent sized pillow. Uh, it only comes in a one size from what I'm aware of. And it's the same valve system as the Climate Sleeping Pads. But this thing's very plasticky and it holds my head really well in the middle, but it's, I didn't really like the feel of it and it slides off your sleeping pad all night long and it drives you crazy. So I actually would slide my buff over it for that little bit of like, comfort and softness and also help it from sliding which is a cool little trick but sadly that's gone 
And what I've opted out to is the famous Aeros Sum uh, C to Summit Aeros 2 pillow. Now this is just a regular, so it's a bit smaller than the Climate, but it's so much softer. It just, be I feel it's a better shape. It's a little bit heavier, but I, I am happy to carry more weight for this. This is amazing, and I haven't even used it yet. I'm looking forward to using this, I can promise you that. Anyways guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.